Hi lovelies, I'm back with another video. So I know I've been in my A. But today, the topics I'm going to bring you are important to humanity, okay? And these are topics that aren't talked about. There's a select few people who enjoy these types of topics. And like, I try to post, right, and let you guys know um what i enjoy talking about what drives me what topics i enjoy right so before i get into it i hope you guys are doing amazing in mind body and spirit excuse this whole roughness but that ties into the fact that what i'm all about right of being raw and being just honest right and a lot of the time we get caught up in the the what is it glitz and glam right of social media but girl it ain't always that right so first i'm gonna dive into the fact that i've been gone and why i've been gone right and how it's really really difficult to go day in and day out, dealing with daily struggles, right, that we all go through. And by no means, okay, am I, am I here for pity, to play a victim? No, I'm single mom presenting to you just a small scale of battles that I feel like a lot of us go through, but we suffer in silence, right? So, if you know who I am, right, I am very, like, people turn to me, right, to, because they trust me, right, and I am solid. Whatever you confide in me will stay with me, right, and if and when I decide it's important to bring it up, I'm going to let you know because those who are close to me know that I create content. And I put it out there. So I advise them first. Like, hey, this could possibly help somebody. With your permission, can I present it? And we'll see where it goes. Right? So, right now, I've been dealing with a lot of internal battles. Right? Just internal battles of juggling a lot. So... Because people confide in me, right? Yes, I listen. I listen. And I've done my best to um, kind of separate my own, right? With what's presented to me. So my, my thing is that when something's presented to me, right? My goal is to ensure they feel comfortable reassure them that everything's going to be okay um let them give them options right if that's what they need but if they want to just be heard then i'm there for that as well right so um that comes natural to me absolutely you could ask anyone that knows me they're always like well, damn, how are you able to give me, you know, advice so easily, this, that, and the other, right? And that's my purpose in life is what I feel, right? One of the few purposes I do have in this life is to be that person that people lean on, right? And I love that. Why? Because it comes natural to me, okay? See, look what my skin is so damn sensitive. I just went like this and now <laughs> it's all red. Anyways. Okay, so just keep that in mind, right? So now when it comes to me and when I'm going through it and when those I love are going through it in a way that it's also affecting me because of their, I don't know how to, I'm trying to present it, okay, in a way that you guys understand, but at the same time, being confidential as well. So, 
um i'm just trying to lay out there it's so hard because like i said i'm not about to just put no one's business out there because all i could do is speak on my own right but at the same time i can't say so much because it will also jeopardize my current status of where i'm at pretty complicated i know but the point I'm trying to get across, right, is for me, when I'm going through it, it's hard for me to be the one to open up. It's hard for me to be the one to reach out for help. And it's literally a handful of people, right, that I will go to and trust and know that they won't judge me and know that they're going to be wanting my best interests right and that's something we struggle with i feel in the world is finding people who we can trust that want the best for us right so like i said it's hard for me to lean on others because there's this image right that people have of me of being the tough one for them so, like I said, internal battles of like, you better figure this out. And that's all I've ever done. Is I tend to just internalize things when obviously it's not healthy. I'm sure when you guys see this, you guys are going to be upset. Like, you can't be doing this, Yvette. You can't sit here and internalize all these things. Because it takes a toll. Right? So, I'm coming on here to let you guys know the importance of when someone reaches out to you to just be there for them even if it's just listening to them you don't have to be worried about bringing a solution although it can be a bit frustrating to open up to someone and they got nothing right because i don't want to take away from the fact that someone's willing to listen because that makes a huge difference right and i think i'll share my story on my stories um a situation where i'm referring to right now right of someone just being there just being present even if it's on the phone okay so i have the tendency to take on i know i'm probably all over the place hopefully you're following me just bear with me okay i have a point um, so because I internalize people's struggles, right? When it comes to mine, now that it's stacking. Because if what was presented to me isn't resolved and I know my loved one, right? This being my friends or my family or people I've known that have become family, right? Um... So now I'm I'm doing self-harm without even meaning to because I'm carrying theirs and mine and I'm trying to get through the storm, right? And that's what I've been dealing with lately, right? Because um, a few of those around me have been struggling and... I haven't been able to find solutions and that's what's been so hard for me to wrap my head around like what am I supposed to do why is it that nothing that I am doing is making a difference and I think that right there is what's been taking a toll on me is like I'm doing my very best right to ensure that I'm squared away when it comes to my own household and providing for my own daughter right but even that has been a juggling act that i've been having to deal with right that i don't bring up because for what i don't want to have energy out there regarding my struggles why because then you're manifesting more you're you're kind of it's a snowball effect so that's why when i come on here is to present you guys with positivity present you guys with solutions, things to help you, right? So, what has dawned on me today and the 
bottom line of this entire video is to tell you guys the importance of one single act of kindness and how far it can go because you never know you never know what people are struggling with on a day-to-day -day that they don't tell you they don't tell you they just walk in with a smile get shit done right but just one act of kindness of acknowledging that they matter and how it will make a difference and that's my new focus that everything i've been dealing with right has been pushing me of like this is the world we live in how is there any hope for humanity and this is why i don't like watching the news because the news destroys my spirit and i didn't want to cry but it's just so frustrating to look at the reality the reality of how this world is something else we need to bring more positivity but it's hard when we're what is that thing there's always phrases that I think of, but I always say them wrong. <laughs> um, we're battling with an uphill stream, right? All of us good-hearted, huge, um, like big-hearted people, right? All of us big-hearted people. All of us that are a rare breed that enjoy to do good, right? We're all on this boat right yet all of the negativity in the world is on this massive ass ship to where i'm like what gives man why is it that us that are doing good with good intentions with a good heart we're not being acknowledged we're not getting the credit we deserve right and that's not why we do it it's not i might have to do a part two instead of closing out all crazy but it's just frustrating it's truly frustrating to be or maybe i could put it on youtube girl i'm mapping this out as i go but it's just it's really difficult to to see things through when it's like everything around it is not good. So it's like, I'm trying to push through the storm, like I said. I'm really trying my best and I've been struggling lately to see it through because I cannot find a solution. Right, And so I have to shift focus. And this is why I tell you guys how important it is to take your time to regroup. Because sometimes that is exactly what you need. Is to regroup and find a new focus. Because the one you had before just isn't working with new circumstances. Right? So, también les voy a decir a ustedes que hablan español. La importancia de que uno que es buena persona, uno que hace las cosas con buenas intenciones, no, no nos, es que no entiendo yo, no entiendo. Y, es, y eso es lo que estoy batallando ahorita, es de que uno que hace bien merece tener bien. Merece estar bien en la vida. Y ahorita yo estoy batallando con varias cosillas de que quiero hallar un nuevo enfoque, ¿verdad? Porque el que tengo ahorita está cabrón. Y quiero 
ver a las cosas con, con oh, mejores ojos, mejores perspectives, per, pers, <laughs> perspectives. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Yo siempre quiero lo mejor para todos, no nomás para mí. Y me da tanta tristeza de que todo mundo no es así. ¿Por qué? No sé. Nunca lo voy a entender cómo alguien puede tener un corazón, pero más malo. Like, y que sea tan malo, pero ellos estén ganando en el mundo. Eso es lo que, la, la fea, fea realidad que yo estoy viendo. De que la gente que es víbora, la gente que es con mala intención, estén ganando sobre la gente que es buena, con buenas intenciones. Es lo que no entiendo. Y eso es lo que yo estoy batallando para entender, para superar. Porque yo siento en mi corazón de que no debería ser así las cosas. Uno que es buena gente. Uno que tiene buenas intenciones para uno y para otros. ¿Por qué somos los que estamos perdiendo? Es lo que no entiendo yo. Entonces, uno tiene que hallar nuevas motivaciones, right? New motivations on things because this just ain't it. This reality is not okay, like, but... It, There's no ending it. I mean, there is, but we are up against a whole lot. And when I say we, I'm talking about us, good hearted people, good intentions. Because for some reason, those ill hearted people are somehow coming out on top. How? How? is what I can't wrap my head around. And maybe y'all could help me to understand what it is, where I should be shifting my focus because that's what I see when I look around. So what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I, I know I'm supposed to be staying in my lane, right? I'm supposed to just focus on doing good for my daughter and myself and my mother right who I'm supporting as well but it's just like something's gotta give this is where I'm at right now and so my focus is for us to just put out good energy and continue to give out good energy Because then that's what's going to come full circle, right? The truth will prevail, right? Is what we're told. And it's just hard to see things through. But we can't give up. We cannot give up. And so that's why I've been gone. Um... I'm trying to just regroup, find a new focus. I want to continue to put content out, but even that is everything I've been going through right now is like, should I really be doing this? Is this really my calling? Will I make a difference? Because clearly the people that aren't delivering what I am are on top of the world. And their intentions ain't pure. What to do? Ay, ay, ay. 
but we must push forward. We must find a new plan. Can't give up. So, just wanted to let you guys know, just briefly, what I'm dealing with. And we just gotta push forward and one single act will make a difference. So we gotta keep pushing good energy into this world because there's already way too much negative energy. There's no words for it. But I'm sorry that this is a video that's more so on a serious note. But it's just been a long time, for one, for me to have a sit down and really talk to you guys. But it, it, it needed to be done. It really did. It was a long time coming. And I mean, I'm going to be honest me internalizing these things it's not healthy i know it's not so y'all shouldn't do it either <clears throat> before we end up in the hospital because when we're sitting here internalizing things we are causing self-harm like i said earlier within our body so it's important to find an outlet right I've considered kickboxing, but I just don't know if I have the foot coordination for that. <laughs> but I don't know. Going for a run? We shall see. But I can't give up. I have to remind myself. I mean, I know I can't give up, but it's just... Hard to find a new focus during the storm, right? So just pray for me is all I ask. Have me in your thoughts and prayers. I know I'll be all right. It's just taking a little longer to bounce back because the chaos is not going anywhere lingering around so I'm just trying to recharge my batteries a little bit <laughs> so just give me some time and hopefully once I do return I'll be better than ever zero in on my focus of just doing good to the world because that's ultimately what my goal has always been is to put things out there to help just one person, just make a difference in one person's life. So, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll be back. Hopefully it's not for as long as I've been gone now. But thank you for all the love and support. I appreciate you for sticking around this long. And I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you decide to watch this. And I will try, okay, to see you soon. I just got to get this regrouping un um, down packed, okay? All right, nos vemos. Cuídense mucho. Bye.